Hey, greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today, we're gonna unbox and take a look at this new Hoover Automop. Now, this is a wash and vacuum in one step. There's always a caveat with that. You generally wanna pre-vacuum, especially if you have animal hair. These things don't usually have any sort of separation, but they can handle a little bit of schmutz if you miss it with the vacuum cleaner. Now, this is a brand new product from Hoover, so I'm really excited to see this. It's got a three year limited warranty, which I like. Full disclosure, I reached out to Hoover and asked for one of these for review. I have a working relationship with them, but no money exchanges hands. They're just nice enough to send me product occasionally. Let's go ahead and open this. The first thing I noticed was that there were, uh, well, it's like a clamshell. It's a, a different uh, type of packaging than I usually see from Hoover. So that just opens up. And I'm gonna show you what you're greeted with. I've noticed all the new Hoover products has QR codes and they try to give you either a coupon or mention that they want you to use their solution. Go ahead and open that all up. And uh, here is our coupon for solution. Right there, we have a nice manual and this is a plug-in unit with this sort of thing if it has a vacuum motor that it's using to suck the water up off the floor you need it to be plugged in cordless just isn't going to cut it for that uh, with the exception of maybe the high zero that uses a pump but it's mechanically different but the rest of these they all use suction um, so generally plugging it in is a good thing and i want to say it's been about two or three years since i've had anything like this from hoover so I'm rather excited to see what they have. Uh, Self-clean tray, and it's cut out, uh, like laser cut out. That's, that's an interesting touch, interesting way of doing that. And Hoover generally doesn't pack things with like styrofoam. They were one of the first to switch to cardboard for better or worse. So there is our self-clean tray. The roller is here, and ooh, it is oh so soft. That's microfiber. You have the handle, which just like the previous generation has a button lock detent, so no screwdriver required. I like that. And oh my gosh, a bottle of solution. I actually have the same bottle at home. Put a link below to it, but uh, yeah, this has a nice orange smell and doesn't leave too much residue on the floor. I rather like this solution. Oh, the machine has a roller installed, so they give you two rollers. That's cool, good to know. Let's go ahead and well, go ahead and pop this out. There is the machine. And then also in here I noticed we have a tiny little filter. Doesn't say it's HEPA rated or anything, but there's a filter and there's a little screen. This is very similar to so many other machines like this now. All right. This is everything you get in the box. Solution, a spare roller, a cleaning tray, a coupon for solution, manual, your handle, a quick start guide attached to the handle, and an extra filter. So the extra filter and brush just kind of sit here on the side. Let's go ahead and assemble this. This is pretty easy to assemble. All you're gonna do is slide this in here until you hear a click. And you wanna be firm. All right, that's it. Um, controls wise, it's got a on off button and a plus button and a trigger. All these feel pretty mushy. These all have like little micro switches in there. You have a little sticker that tells you what's what. On the back of the machine, we have the clean solution tank, just fits in there. On the bottom of the machine, we have a squeegee, some nice soft wheels. On the top of the machine, you have a lift to get the brush out, and there's an LED light in there, and you can see the hardware for that. That's kind of cool. Um, and then it looks like, yep, just teeter-totter that out. So that just pulls out, and the roller just falls out. And uh, yeah, you can see the sprayer, the other squeegee, um, and the intake channel. So as you can see, it's driven from one side so that means edge cleaning is gonna be asymmetrical. It'll probably get right up around the edge right here, but this is a little over an inch from the edge, uh, about three centimeters. The other thing I noted 
why I was playing around with it is it has a nice swivel neck. Mechanically simple with that swivel neck. Your dirty water tank is right here. You want to rinse this tank, and this is the sort of thing when you are done with it, set the tank out, let it dry in pieces apart. That that will make a big difference. And like I said, this isn't exactly a replacement for a vacuum because uh, this is the only sort of filter there is, and that will get full of pet hair real fast. Everything is just very simple and very much a Hoover. The other thing I want to note is there's a QR code and a 1-800 number so that if you need anything, you can give a call to them. There is a quick release cord hook here as well. Now something I noticed is the lines are at the same angle to fill this thing as you would be filling it over the sink. So I appreciate the slanted line and the straight up and down line. Little attention to detail from Hoover. All right, we've assembled it, we've added water. Let's see how it cleans our floor. And our floors here are desperately in need. This is like a fake wood glue on composite thing, but let's see how it does. All right, folks, I've switched to the studio mic so you're gonna hear the real sound of the machine running. Um, we also have the AC running pretty hard today. So you hear that in the background as well. So let's see how loud this thing is. That seems to be on high. All right, I have to say I am impressed. It's not leaving a ton of water on the floor. It's just barely spritzing the floor, which is what you want from a machine like this. And it seems to be recovering what it's putting out. So, so far, kind of like it. We're gonna go ahead and do a bigger area and I'll get back to you. Well, it certainly doesn't disappoint. What I think is interesting is it stays on after you turn it off to kind of clear the tubes and get all the water into the tank. I rather like that feature. That's something I would do anyways. I've gone through a few tanks now and we're ready to do the self-clean. I want to see how that ends up. So. That was right about a minute. That's got to be one of the faster self-cleans that I've experienced. Let's go ahead and prep the machine. So again, they give you two rollers. I like that a whole lot. And everything just comes apart real easily. So right away you can see the a little bit of pet hair and schmutz in here. So again, you should pre-vacuum. Let's see what's in here. And the most, the thing I'm most interested in is if the filter is wet. So Okay, the filter itself is not wet, but the pre-filter here is wet. And the pre-filter doesn't cover entirely the uh, filter, so that is a little curious. But you can see, definitely got whatever was on our floor off. And I will say also the Hoover solution just has a nice citrus smell to it. It's not overpowering. It's just the right amount of smell. Tell you what cleanup seems to be a breeze with this machine there's not many orifices or nooks and crannies which i like the tank's relatively easy to clean so i really like that again they give you two filters just super easy so i'm just gonna let all that stuff uh dry out but that's really easy 
All right, since I've been filming this, I've been using this in the store uh, for the past few weeks. So every couple of days, I've just been using it in my retail store, and I'm really happy with the results. And I think that this machine positions itself kind of middle in the market in pricing. And in a market dominated by cordless junk, it's refreshing to see a plug-in machine that works so well and is reasonably priced. So if you're looking for one of these auto mops, spend an arm and a leg, I would recommend this. Stay tuned for the long-term review. This is just an unboxing and first look, but it looks pretty promising. And as you know, Hoover tends to stand by your product. Special thanks again to Hoover for sending this to me for review. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.